everybody, it's Julie. Thanks for joining me today on the Creative Retreat channel. We are journaling chapter 36, verse 16 of Psalms. And I'm using the April Faith Art Box, which is all about pouring out God's love and pouring love down. And this verse actually says, Pour out your unfailing love on those who love you. Give justice to those with honest hearts. I've masked that verse off just with some washi tape, and you saw me apply it to my hand first to get rid of some of the stickiness. I'm using some watercolors, some various shades of blue, to get some watercolor paint all over this page. So I spritz the page first just to give it a little bath of water first so that these colors blend and move and play around a little bit. Uh, these, this is to give a scene of water, and I'm going to use the raindrops. So I really want it to kind of take on a mind of its own. I'm using three different colors. This paint is from Adorn It, the watercolor cake paints. And I like this set. It's going to be linked in the comment section so that you can check it out, see if it's something you like too. Um, they're pretty vibrant colors. I like them. And I am here drying them. I'm getting some blue and some purple and some darker blue. And these, this color scheme really goes with the kit for April. I have really loved this set. And the design team and a lot of customers have just been doing a great job with this set. So here I've printed off on sticker sheet, clear sticker sheet, the words to a song by the group I Am They. And it's called let your love pour out and this is a song I've just recently discovered and the words are just amazing so I wanted to include them in my journal entry here because they really go with this kit and with this Bible passage so now I'm making a tag with the backing of the devotional this uh, print that is blue and it's got these raindrops and I'm just marking it off I placed it where I wanted it I placed my Bible mat where I wanted it and fixed it with washi tape and held that in place and then cut that and that gives me the size that I wanted. I made sure that it was big enough for these words. I trimmed off the top to make the edge and then I flipped it over and placed it in the other corner and then cut that. It makes it perfectly symmetrical. It's just a quick easy way and then save those corners and you can use them as corner pages, page corners. I said that backwards. Now this step I think ended up being completely unnecessary but oh well I did it anyway. I used a little bit of white acrylic paint just to um, kind of soften that blue so that I thought it would help to read these words but I think it would have been fine just on the blue. But anyway I still like the way it looked but if you don't want to take that extra step I really don't think that one was necessary. So I'm making a couple more tag punches um, out of this same blue print and you want to use these as much as you can after you've done the devotional. Don't do it before you've done the devotional or you can copy it so that you've got that um, if you want to use that print. Now as far as this page and these watercolors, watercolors you can still see the text underneath. I'm adding a little bit of yellow here just to bring in some of that color scheme. Adding a little bit of yellow and now I'm actually picking up some of the excess yellow with just a damp paintbrush. So I dab it off on a paper towel and then I pick up the excess paint that's there. So it just leaves kind of a wash look, a very light bit of yellow and I did finish by drying that with my heat tool. So as far as the watercolors go, you could leave that in the margin. You could leave it just in the corner where you might want to work. Um, I did the whole page. You can still see the text underneath. That's what I love about watercolors and they really don't bleed through either. But you can certainly, you don't have to do the watercolor effect. If you're going for a level one of just a really quick page, you could just do the stamping and use the stickers. But I wanted the watercolors. I just love the way it looked. So now I'm stamping the words pour, love, and down. And I'm using my Versafine Black Onyx ink, which 
does, by the way, bleed through, but I just love how crisp and cleanly it stamps. I always get a pure stamped image with it. So on the back, I'll just cover that with gesso or paint or do something with it if I have to deal with bleed through. So the words to this song are, Father, let your love pour out. Let your love rain down on me, on me, on me. Father, I want nothing less. Come and fill up every breath I breathe. I breathe, I breathe. That's the chorus to this song. I will link it up here in the top right hand corner and I will also provide it in the comment section. It's just a wonderful song and that's what this verse is about. Pour out your unfailing love on those who love you. It is only because of God's love that we can survive day to day, that we can make it through the storms of life, that we can um, that we can love others by God pouring out and raining down his love on us. He did that through Jesus dying on the cross. He did that uh, by giving his Holy Spirit to live with us and to um, work with us every day. And he does that day by day. And then one day when he comes back, his love will just uh, be complete. So Father, let your love pour out and let your love rain down on me. That's my prayer with this page. So I use these really, really cute rain boots. These rain boots have just been the star of the show for this particular kit. So many people on the design team and customers have just been so creative with this kit and especially these rain boots. So I've stamped them and cut them out and I'm using some dimensional tape, just some to give it some dimension here and texture. I'm using some of the stickers, flowers, to um, poke out of the boots. And now I'm going to balance that and um, come down and, and just anchor the page with some washi tape. Now I want to give a little pool of water down there in the corner. So I did that and then I heat set that with my dryer and I actually burned the page a little bit. I didn't show that to you, but I'm going where I thought I was going to use those little blue corner punches over on the right page. I ended up using them on the left page, which you don't really see them too much. Right now I'm adding some splatters as if these rain boots are jumping up and down like they're, um, the splatters are just coming up out of this puddle. You know how when you jump in a puddle, you you um, splash. So I actually stamped only three, only about half of the raindrops, and I did it upside down. And I did that by just inking the bottom three or four drops and then did it upside down. So I'm just coming in now and I'm adding actually some of those ripples in the puddle. And I come back and do it on the left side as well. I'm going to end up adding some crystal, um, some glossy accents to that puddle. And I'll show you the still shots. So it gives it more of that watery look. And um, glossy accents, it's something that's certainly not ne necessary, but it's a fun thing to do. Right now I'm just finishing up by adding some stickers and the washi tape putting some of the word fetty here and there. My tags, I say at the top left, wash over, and then the tag on the right, I use the heart and then down. So it's um, wash over me and your love pour down. It's just this whole theme of God's love pouring down on us. And when God's love, his unfailing love, pours out to us, through the cross and um, then every day the rain of love that he gives to us it fills us with love and then we can love others and that's how we can grow in love that's how we can share love with others and that's how his work will be completed when we allow him to pour his love on us and to pour out his love through us so this this kit has just been so powerful to me it is, by the way, on the verge of selling out, so make sure you pick yours up if you don't have it yet. There's a link in the comment section. Um, check out the blog post that is attached to this. I'll give you the link for that too. And see what else the other ladies on the team are doing with this kit and the different blog posts. I go into a little bit more detail about this passage 
and about this process. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you like it and just check out this video too of the song. It's so powerful. Here you can see the puddle effect with the glossy accents and some of the close-ups. I do also add a little bit of splatter painting on the right with the blue just to add some continuity to the two pages. Thanks so much for joining me today. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments section and uh, be sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Thanks so much and God bless. Bye-bye.